As Congress begins a five-week summer recess, President Obama called on Americans today to challenge Congress to do more to pass bills that would help the middle class. Many have referred to this as the do-nothing Congress. And even though the House passed an immigration bill last night, the Senate will surely oppose it. We get more tonight from NBC's Kristen Welker. The motion to reconsider is laid on the table. Late last night, lawmakers scrambled to leave town without addressing the issue they've been railing about for weeks, the crisis at the border, taking another step toward becoming one of the least productive, most dysfunctional Congresses in history. We've been very productive. We passed about 350 bills and sent them to the United States Senate. We simply can't run the House. And lots of good Republican friends have said to me they've turned this place over to the crazies. House Republicans did pass a border bill, but it stands no chance of survival in the Senate. They're not even trying to actually solve the problem. And the Democratic-led Senate left town without even bringing a border bill to the floor. Earlier in the week, Republicans sent mixed messages, approving a bill to sue the president for overstepping his authority by acting alone on key legislation. Are you willing to let any president choose what laws to execute and what laws to change? But then calling on Mr. Obama to fix the border crisis himself. This is a difficult argument for Republicans to square. You this Congress's overall record is dismal. So far, only passing 142 bills, hearkening back to another moment of historic political gridlock when Harry Truman coined the infamous term, do nothing Congress. The country can't afford another Republican Congress. But even they pushed through seven times more bills than these lawmakers. Absolutely, this Congress has gotten much less done than even the do-nothing Congress of the 1940s. Overseas, Israel.